Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're talking about eyeshadow palettes, specifically messy looking ones. I don't mean the color layout or the shades themselves, I'm talking about actual messy eyeshadow palettes. Now, stay with me. I know it's a little bit of a strange topic, but before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and if you want to catch the rest of my videos, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So when I first started my makeup collection, eyeshadow palettes were my favorite. They still are my favorite, but they were also rare to me like there was a time like it was a year year and a half ago where i could not afford a single eyeshadow palette that wasn't from cbs i had one really nice like higher end eyeshadow palette from too faced and that was it until you know i was into makeup for about a year so i'd always watch all these reviews on youtube i'd watch all these palettes and i would be so obsessed but i just could not get any of them so fast forward to when I got promoted and I was able to pay all my student loans every month and still have a little bit left over, I started going for eyeshadow palettes. And once I got these palettes, I don't know like the kind of like reverie I would treat them with, but I would always like make sure they were pristine, clean them off. It got to the point where I almost didn't want to use some of my favorite palettes because I didn't want them to look used, which is a bit ridiculous and I'm just now like realizing this that there were certain things I was afraid to use in my collection because I didn't want them to be or look used. So that led to me over the past couple of months really embracing the look of a messy palette. The first one was Modern Renaissance. I have a whole video about this. I'll throw that up in the card so you guys can check that out. The packaging gets so dirty. I used to like try to lint roll this every day. I used to like I saw like the toothbrush trick that you could like wash it with the toothbrush and let it dry. But over time, I've just acknowledged that it's a material that is going to get dirty, especially if you use this palette. Even if you just put it up on display, I live in an attic. It gets really dusty up here. So there is some dust just because my room gets so dusty. So that is one aspect of a palette that I've really grown to accept. And I believe this is a part of actually making the palette mine, if that makes sense. It's, it makes it personal. Also what makes it, or what makes a palette personal for me is actually seeing the wear in a palette. So for those of you that don't know, this is my Pan That Palette for 2018. It is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon Palette in Lolita. It's so messy. You can see that there are some rings around the shades that I try to use on my face because I have to go in with a bigger brush. You can see that there is some glitter on the palette. You can see that the mirror is a little bit dusty. I've grown to accept this. And I've got it's gotten to the point where I open this palette and I even like like seeing a little bit of a mess because it shows that I'm reaching for it. It shows that I'm using it. It shows that I love it. Because this is a palette that I used to like get a q-tip, get something, and I would clean everything off every single time that I would use it. Which was A, a huge waste of time, and B, like why am I doing that? Like why am I taking the time to clean off a palette that I'm, I know I'm probably going to be using every day? I even saw some of this in my eyeshadow palette collection video. I did get quite a few comments on there saying, well, why don't you just clean up your palettes? Your palettes look gross. Like this one looks gross. I've embraced, like as long as like there isn't shadow getting like everywhere and it's not a disgusting mess like here, that's just like part of the actual palette itself that's gotten a little stain. Like I know I can clean this, but I don't really want to take the time every day to wipe this down. I also don't want to affect the shadows. Which leads me to my next palette that gets dirty because I use it fairly often, Subculture. I used to clean up around Cube. I don't use Cube as often anymore, but I used to clean up around Electric, Destiny, and Adorn. You can see there's definitely somewhere around there. But whenever I tried to clean this palette, I'd end up dipping into the shadows accidentally. Or I would just make a bigger mess because they're so pigmented that if you try to like wipe it off, it'll like smear. And so it was honestly more trouble than it was worth. And whenever I look at this palette, I like seeing the wear. Whereas before, 
I used to like seeing a pristine palette, a never touched palette, especially if it was in white packaging. <laughs> a great example of white dirty packaging is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. So you can see that this packaging does actually get stained from a few of these shadows. And that's what my palette looks like after I've actually tried to clean it. <laughs> so at this point, I've just embraced the fact that this packaging with these shades, it's gonna get stained. And it's gonna look like it's used because I am using it. And my eyeshadow palette collection and my makeup collection, ultimately it's for me. It's not to look pretty on display. It's not to look pretty in a collection video. It's for myself. And if I like looking at all my palettes and seeing the use and the wear and the joy that I've gotten out of them, then I need to embrace that. So thank you for staying with me through, I'm sure, what was a, a little bit of a strange video, but really a point that I really wanted to get across, especially recently as I've been thinking more about my Pan That palette and about new palettes versus old palettes in my collection. I really need to do a full eyeshadow palette declutter, which will be coming soon, because I am over 100 at this point. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!